Hey what is up guys it's the ghost hacker here and I am back for another visual studios tutorial and today we're going to be teaching you how to use the combo box but before we hop in today I just want to quickly say thank you very much for all the support lately I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately that's been really motivating me to do more and I've been getting some nice comments and I've also been getting a lot of views on the videos like I think I have 400 on the first one and like 300 on the other one, it's just crazy. So thank you very much for that guys and I really do appreciate it. So we're going to hop in here and we're going to grab ourselves a combo box. There we go. Just line that up, make it look good. There we go. And I'm also going to grab a button to help us out here. We'll line that up too with the combo box. Now, in your case, you're probably going to want to make this look a lot nicer, but, you know, I'm just doing a fast tutorial. I'm going to change the button text to say, um, say it, just like that. Now, to add items to our combo box, we're going to want to select it, go down here in the menu, scroll down to almost the bottom, but not quite, and where it says items, then collection, just click that, click the little button here. Now, you'll see this. Now just type in what you want, so I'm going to do hello, press enter to add another one, I'm going to put hi, and I'm going to do how are you, alright, alright so we did that, I'll just click ok, now if we quickly run the application, we can see that it does show up in our list here, so the button won't do anything yet, but I will show you how to make it do something, so we're going to double click it, so if you guys haven't caught on yet, we're going to make the button say whatever you select up here. Alright, so we're going to do if, com actually we're going to change the name of this um, box here. We, we'll just name it, um, we'll just name it CB. Alright, okay, erase that. If CB dot text equals, then quotes. I mean, um, brackets, then quotes, and now we'll do hello, leave the brackets and click then, or uh, type then, and just put, I'm going to use a message box for this example, but you can make it do anything, you can make it open a different form, you can make it open a program, you can make it do anything. Alright, so now we're going to do message box, and I'm going to do hello. And now that's it for that one. So we're going to leave that if statement and go to the second one. And we're going to do if cb.text equals brackets and quotes again. And now hi. Make sure you spell it correctly how you spelt it in the other one also will not work. And then just put then. And again, message box. And just put hi in there. Alright. Oh, we need to leave that if statement and go to the next one. If cb dot text space equals brackets quotes how are you? Then just leave that and click and then or type then. I don't know why I'm keep saying click. Message box. Our quotes. I mean our brackets and quotes and then just put um, good. Good. You. Alright, so there we go. We got that. And now we can quickly start up our application again. Now if you click it with nothing in it, it won't work. It'll just do nothing. And if you put hello, it'll say hello right here in our message box. If you put hi, it'll say hi right here in our message box. And if you put how are you, it'll say... Oops, I guess I screwed something up. Oh, I didn't click it. That's right. If we put, um, how are you? It'll say, good, you. And there we go. That's, that's pretty much all. That's how you use the combo box. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. I know it wasn't very long, but it got the job done anyway. And you guys got a pretty good understanding of how to use the combo box. So you can do this. You can use this in many different ways. Like I said, you can make it open up a different form. So, um... It does different stuff or you can 
make it do different options like change the interval in a timer so you know you can change the time in a timer and you can do many 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 things with this and you guys can just do whatever you like pretty much so thank you very much for watching guys keep up the awesome support and the awesome views and um i hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time guys i hope you guys have a great day and bye bye guys